Today we talk about uh, how to test VFD guide and IGBT. We know VFD including three sections, vertical section, field section, and the inverted section. Note like this picture. Rectifier section we call convert. That means power supply AC go to RST, then convert, convert Convert section have six dial. This six dial transfer AC to DC. Field section with DC bus is including resistor and the capacitor. Invert section we call invert is including six IGBT. Okay. From DC bus section the DC go to Nivert. Nivert uses six IGBT transfer to the AC through UVW terminal go to the AC motor. Okay. So if you want to test the VFD is good or not, we should test died six dial then convert and I six IGBT we know every IGBT how die so we just test the die how to test the die if you're learning electronic you know that how some characteristic forward bias reverse bias look like this picture forward bias reverse bias forward bias means DC power from an node side go to cathode side is power goes through reverse bias means dc power from cathode go to anode is block is not current flow so we know is died the forward bias reverse bias characteristic so we should uh, saw this curve is forward bias is uh, DC voltage range from 0 0.4 to 0 0.7 if you're over 0 0.7 that means that is uh, blow if your reverse bias should be no voltage if you have voltage reading means that died broken okay look like this one is a good dial use first we use the multimeter put the tight section then use the red globe go to the go to the anode is the black globe go to the cathode in the tide is the testing forward bias it has some reading there is a six point 0.6 voltage DC voltage reverse bias like this one is uh, if you have reading that means that uh, blow if you are not reading just over o arrow that means that the good okay so we can use this uh, that uh, characteristic to test this uh, VFD okay we know VFD have RST and the DC bus terminal and the DC bus terminal positive and negative and the UVW. Okay, look like this one. Here, RST, UVW. Here is DC positive, DC negative. Okay, RST, UVW. Okay. So, you have to use the multimeter to test is dialed similar. First, you want to try the D1. Is the dialed is good or not? First, you should put the red proper in the R terminal. Then, is the black proper put the DC positive. You can, re you can find the reading. Is 
If your reading is 0 0.5, 0 0.6, that means this D1 diet is okay. Then reverse is the right proper go to the DC positive. Is black go to the R coming. If your reading OL, that means diet good. If you have reading, is the same reading value that means diet D1 is blow is broken. So same thing D1, D2, D3. D4, D5, D6, we use DC bar selective. Okay. If you want to test D4, you can use if you want to test D4 is the forward bias, you can use uh, R terminal and DC bar selective. In the DC bar selective, put the right probe. Is R terminal, put the black probe. If you have reading 0 0.6, that means the D4 is that is okay. Is a reverse. If you test the reverse bias, it's D4, just R. Right proper put the R coming. Then is the black proper put the DC bar selective. If you have no reading, that means D4 is okay. If you have some reading, that means D4 is broken, is blocked. Similar D5, D6, all the same as D4. So then if we can know D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6. Is good and not good. If not good, that means VFD is four. Similar is the diet is convert. If you invert, we can test IGBT. G1, G2, G3, G4, G5, G6. Every IGBT has the diet. We can test the diet. If, for example, if you test G1 is IGBT, you can test the forward bias for diet. First, you should put the right proper in the W. Then, black proper put the DC bias positive. Then, you can check is G1, HPT is good or not good. Reverse, you can put the DC, you can Right the proper put the DC bus and black proper put the W. You can check G1. If you have reading the G1 is something is wrong. It's HBT G1 is broken. If you have OL, that means G1 is okay. So, same thing, G1, G2, G3, G4, G5, G6, all the same thing, D5, 6, just use U, V, W, okay, and negative DC bars. So, that's good testing. All the VFDs died and rectified. Before you do this, you should confirm this disconnect power, okay? Just no power can go to the VFD. That's why. Also, we should know if you want to test the is VFD. If you put the power from RST, we can test the DC bus is voltage. So DC bus voltage equal is RM's nine voltage times square root 2, okay? For example, if the DC bus voltage is, uh, for example, is AC power 600 volts, but the DC power voltage should be 817 something, okay? Look like 847 DC volts. For example, 600 volt AC input, DC bus, A, 
870 dc volt. If reading is too low, you, you can't transfer to Z. Invert, that means it's VFD is 4. So, okay. Look like this picture, so that's simple. You first test the invert. Um, the converter is tied. You can decide is VFD is good, not good. Okay. Thank you.